I was delighted to represent the Paradise MI investigators for the first presentation of our study at the ACC. We had 5,661 patients who had all just had an acute myocardial infarction complicated by either pulmonary congestion or, or reduced ejection fraction. This is exactly the group that gets the most benefit from an ACE inhibitor post-MI. So we tested Secubitril valsartan, proven in heart failure, against Ramipril, proven post-MI. So two active therapies. The mission isn't, is Secubitril valsartan good? It's, does it offer incremental benefit over uh, a proven ACE inhibitor? So these 5,661 patients were followed from 41 countries for 23 months to get the critical number of events to test the hypothesis. And unfortunately, people do have MIs and they do develop heart failure or die. And 711 of these people did. That would have allowed us to say this drug is different than that drug if we were uh, superior by 15%. When we opened the book, look at the results, it was better, but not statistically better. It was only 10%. The drug was very safe compared to Ramapro. No run-in, acute MI, just randomized, and we saw uh, no difference in the really adverse safety profile. A little bit more cough with the ACE inhibitor, a little bit more hypotension, but the adverse was the same, total adverse. But this 10% reduction, uh, if you look under the microscope, now this is a uh, a neutral trial, so you really can't claim significance. When we look at the total burden of disease, recurrent events, it was reduced by 20 something percent. So now we're scratching our heads. We think this drug was as safe as an ACE inhibitor and even more effective, but we couldn't prove that with the constraints we had. So we go forward saying, all right, at least. The safety profile is as good as an ACE inhibitor. It does have all the smells of better than an ACE inhibitor. This should reduce barriers for using it in the proven indication heart failure. And we're gonna look at our data a little more closely, see what the impact of COVID was, see what the impact of long-term administration was, and be prepared to present at the American Heart Association, hopefully welcoming everyone to Boston.